Hello and welcome to 3Q. In this episode, we're talking about big data and I'm delighted to be joined by John Solberg from MSAD Ventures in Silicon Valley. Hello, John, how are you today? Hello, I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Thank you for appearing on 3Q. My first question is, how do companies that leverage big data make good investment opportunities? So I focus a lot on fintech and insurtech in my investment portfolio. And when we look at the trends in those areas, big data is actually the core of what's happening in, in insurance and in uh, finance in general. If you look at how people are now underwriting insurance policies and loans, they're using millions of data points. Uh, when you think about climate change and how do you actually understand the risks associated with that, it usually comes back to big data and trying to predict from that. Yeah, that's interesting. And I suppose that leads me into my second question. As some companies can uh, draw in lots of uh, data points and analyze insurance risk and climate change, is it also possible to predict the direction of economies? Uh, I would say yes to a certain extent. I think as we've seen, you know, historically and, and today is no, no different, um, you know, data can be used to, to predict a lot of things, but the predictions are never 100%. Uh, so I, I think when you think about some of the more successful investors, they're using huge amounts of data to try to predict where things are going to go. But those predict, you know, there's there's still an awful lot that has to do with execution and and even as we've seen this year, just general things that you can't predict. So, uh, you know, I think it 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 can be used, but it's not it's never going to be a fail safe. Yeah, and, that, and as for my third question, and I've been watching a Netflix documentary, The Social D Dilemma. When you're gathering big data in such form, especially that relates to persons or individuals. Do you think that's an attack or, or, or a breach of personal privacy? So I guess maybe attack is a pretty strong word. Uh, breach could be used in some cases, I think. I, I think there's a, there's a responsible way to, to look at big data and to use big data, and there's, there's an irresponsible way. And it's something we actually pay close attention to. If you think about insurance, for example, if I know a ton of things about your health uh, based on big data or based on DNA or things like that, uh, do I have the right then to, to not give you insurance because I think it's too high of a risk? I think that those types of things can end up having you know, significant damage if they're, if they're not done properly. On the flip side, understanding that data can actually help us to prevent a lot of deaths and can actually you know, make life better. So I think there's a responsible way to, to work with big data and there's an irresponsible way. And figuring that out is actually one of the big challenges that we have today and ahead of us. John, thank you very much for your insights on that. I think big data is, is a long-standing debate that's going to go on for a long time to come. Thank you very much for appearing on 3Q. Thank you very much for having me.